What's up, everybody? JJ for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Just filled up 2020 Bowman Baseball 4 box Jumbo plus 6 box Hobby Pikachu number 4. Total of 10 box breaks uh, here. Uh, and again, we're giving away the Yankees in this break. A $1,200 value team giving away in this break. All you had to do was buy a spot in this break and you get entered into winning. So you buy one team, you get two en one entry. You buy two teams, you get two entries, etc., etc. The more teams you uh, buy in this break, the more entries you will have to try to win the Yankees and hit a Dominguez. And again, four boxes of Bowman Baseball Jumbo, six boxes of Hobby, ten total box. Remember, no paper base ships. All chrome cards, number cards, insert short prints, and hits will ship. Dominguez and whip paper will ship. And I believe uh, we added the uh, Open A's prospect, Pauson, as well. And then again, no exceptions. Remember, all the paper base is sold by us, and then we donate 100% of the sale to the charity of either Make-A-Wish, LA's Best, or No Kid Hungry. So again, here's the customer names here that are in the break. So there you go. Now let's put them in a randomizer here. Boom. Let's roll the dice. Boom. Five and a five, ten times. Number one is going to win the Yankees, guys. Good luck. Ten times. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Ten times. Oh man, did I see what I thought I saw? No freaking way. Oh man. Oh man. No, I didn't. Oh, I thought I did. There you go. Charles, Jay Samuelson, congratulations. You just won the Yankees in the break. I thought I saw Adam or Fred won those. And I was going to say, wow. $90 spot right there. But anyway, there you go. Charles, you're going to get number one. You're going to get the Yankees. Congratulations after 10 times. Yeah, I thought I saw the little thing, but I guess not. <laughs> Either way, though, I mean, the other customers won those spots, uh, paying a fraction of the price. Although Fred and Adam did buy a couple spots, but either way, it's all good. Let's hit some big hits, though. There you go. Now, um, Here are the boxes. So, here are the six boxes. Right here. And then the four jumbo. And just to show you guys, Nick wrote PYT4 on the top of the six boxes and left them here in the studio. And then same thing with the jumbo. He wrote PYT4. So that's how you guys know it's from the same case. And again, here's the printout of the break. Boom, boom. Let's rock and roll, guys. Don't know if a Dominguez was pulled in the first half or not, but let's see what we can pull here. Good luck, guys. I'll start off with the first. Uh, start off with Hobby, I mean, first. And then work my way to the Jumbo. Get most of the hobby out of the way.
Alright, next box. So I like to just rip open a couple boxes and kind of pack stack myself. That way we can just fly through some of this. And again, guys, another break that's super close is select starting to get close to almost in single digits. And if you guys wanted to skip five and six of jumbo, or seven and six and seven of jumbo, that's tied into a little pack break. Number eight can sell out straight up if someone wants to take the Rangers and the, uh, I forget who the other team was, Tigers, I believe. So if somebody wants to take one of those teams, you can get number eight of jumbo going. So just two left there. Tigers 150, and then Rangers at 329, 330. So that'd be cool if I can also squeeze that in before I head off. Because this will pretty much take me to like 140, 130 if anything. So if that is the case, um, I can squeeze in the jumbo at like 130, and then I'll kill it within like 50 minutes. Then Joe will hop on around 2, 230 or so, and then. I'll see you guys again tomorrow, starting at 2 o'clock, so it's up to you guys, though. I'm glad we got this one done, though. I think this one was a great value. I think everybody that was watching early on kind of seen that opportunity to get a team in the break and to potentially win the Yankees, which is cool. I think it is. No, it's not. Oof. That was scary. Alright, let's go with this first. I don't think it was, but it might be like an insert one, though. That I seen. A little bit of gold. Ah, this part threw me off right here, Sean. I literally seen this, and it looked like to me it could have been like a super, but more like a gold. Var showed a fifty though. Damn insert, throwing me off. The big T's. But you know what, I forget that in Hobby though, the cards are flipped backwards, so. I won't know if it's a super until I flip it around. Unless it's a base card with no auto then. I will be able to see it. Oh, it's Bobby Wood. Luis Garcia. Paper. Tigers. I can try to miss anybody.
No, the color is actually yeah. normal. If it's on not auto, it's 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 just on the front. So that's how I was able to pull that like red Lizardo because it was just the base chrome red. So just the autographs are turned around. So I won't know if it's a super auto until I turn it around. So I say like this Feliciano. The color would be obviously turned around. Two ninety nine sparkle. Brewers. Uh, it's going to Ryan. Harold, there you go, man. And we got Alec Thomas. I feel like these one non number atomics are per box. was missing on the card like the guy didn't even sign it it's horrible quality control right there right so horrible. Imagine getting that box and you don't even get anything. I mean, I'm sure Tops will definitely fix that for that guy, but still. You gotta do a little more than just fixing it, right? First Dominguez paper. Speckle or Sparkle. Rutherford. White Sox. Theo. Ooh, nice. Gold shimmer. To 50. Bowman's first. Is this the stud pitcher, or is this the other guy? Oh, wow. His ERA was 226. 144 strikeouts in 22 games. 10 wins, 4 losses, and 111 innings pitched. Ah, I think this is a, a good pitcher prospect for the Padres. here uh the 
Bowman mixer number four. Oh, the mixer four and four. Yeah. Nice. Imagine how what a sweet deal that would have been. So it was just two teams, so you could win the teams for eighteen bucks. Right. And then you could all had an opportunity to win the Yankees for eighteen dollars. I don't know why, the why they weren't flying off the ship. I know that's what I said. I said that, and I think people started realizing it. Yeah. I was like, it's only nineteen dollars. I'm like, damn. If I could buy into this, I would. That's right. Nick and I were scratching our heads yesterday. We were just like, oh. Yeah. But we'll take those teams that nobody wants. Yeah. Mangoes. Like I thought this was a great deal. I thought people would be all over. It. Alrighty, guys. Next. Tatis Jr. to four ninety nine. And I think Nick, right in the last break he did, he pulled a Dominguez base for Gomes. Base. Yeah, I mean, those are two thousand dollars. It's crazy. Just the base. The base is two thousand. Oh, base auto. Base auto. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, the base aren't going for two thousand. Yeah, base autographs are two thousand. Are you serious? Yeah. Last break of the night. Yeah, like one of the last. One. I think he broke the luck after all, but at like six thirty. Jesus, I was I was up till like four. I like, helping Nick. I just couldn't couldn't do it after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried to go to sleep. I just couldn't really sleep much, but I didn't want to sleep like at three. We have two keyboards here. Yeah, I don't know what that where that one's from. It has the little chip on it, huh. so I don't know if Nick switched them or <laughs> he was crazy trying to make that work. <laughs> I know. I had to clean up a little bit here. Killer out to twenty five. No, I don't think so. They, they have like a they have a breakfast there. Oh, they did? Yeah. And another Cantillo. This time to four ninety nine. Who has the Padres? Jeffrey Goldberg. Nice. Very very nice. Gold shimmer and now. When I first booked it earlier this week, the girl there was saying it's a it's a business hotel. Um, I think so, John. I think once we clear out the website, I think we are. Cause I I, I honestly think I think we got more cases in. Than we thought we were, you know. Obviously, since Top said that they weren't going to ship out more than half, but we're still going to get a lot more next week, like Wednesday, Thursday, as I think Nick said. But I think we will be posting more jumbos and stuff today. I just think Nick obviously is a little resting right now, so once we uh, once he gets up in a little bit, I'm sure he'll start posting them from home. But he's the one that knows how many we have left over and whatnot, so. I think we're still kind of good for today, but we will be posting more soon, though. I think so. Remember, guys, I'm back again tomorrow at two o'clock. So we'll have we'll have some more Bowman for the rest of the next two days. box guys Dominguez paper right there
Hunter Green. And a Bobby Wood Jr. Nice. Blue. Very, very nice. 27 out of 150. Who has the Kansas City Royals? Matthew S. There you go. Very, very nice. A little first. Sweet hit. Bird. Yeah. All right, cool. So there's four hobby. Uh, let's get done with the next two hobby, and then we'll end off with the four jumbo.
All right, good luck, guys. Next two hobby, and then we'll have four jumbo. Gray to two fifty. Dominguez top prospects. first for the Astros. So 250. Chad with that one. Ooh, and a Pausan Atomic first. Pusan. These aren't numbered. These are like a hobby one per box, but pretty cool. Athletics going to Aaron. It's pretty nice. All right, last hobby box, and then we got the four jumbo. Sam Huff, Blue Shimmer. That's a big prospect as well for the Rangers. Adam winning this in a pack break. Hopefully more to come, buddy. Paper of Reese Hins. 250.
Atomic Casey Mize to 150. Number 11 on Bowman's Prospects. I still think we have the auto, right? And it's a base first for the Mets. G Nord or Gen Nord. Uh, Mets with that one going to Rob. We got an Atomic Manoa. Suvail, paper rookie. Alright, awesome. Now we just got the jumbo, guys. Good luck. two jumbos at a time. So yeah, guys, actually, I'll probably be done with this around 2 o'clock. Anything else, but I think Joe could do that. We're done a one left in the next jumbo. Just the Rangers, it looks like. Gold auto to 50 was accepted at 10k. Was it like the shimmer? Yeah, I think they took the offer where the market was set. I mean, I don't know. I projected, me and Nick projected that the out of orange would probably go for 15 to 20. So. I mean, obviously, with the crazy prices we have been seeing with Bowman's first, like, you know, the first one where the green that sold for, like, 14. I kind of think that it's actually probably setting into what the market. Yeah, so if it sold for 10, which is gold, then I guess the predict projection of the orange going for 15 to 20 is kind of in the right range. I mean, look, if our customer that hit that on IG can get 40000 for it, great. But I feel like that kind of makes sense. The base is going for two. Then the next color up would be like what? Out of 250? So let's say that that's like four or five. And then the 150 is the blue, right? Or blue or purple, vice versa. Then you get to like atomic out of 100. Green to 99. I feel like that kind of makes sense. And again, that's not a way to bad way to start off, though, right? I mean, 17 years old. But I think the person that got that for 10 grand is probably a good good investment if he does turn out to be what he is. Uh, this is uh, Pikachu number four of the Bowman Mixer, Brian. Remember, hobbies three and four are tied into a pack break, and same thing with hob uh, jumbo six seven. The only break that can fill straight up that's closed is jumbo number eight. That just needs to fill up straight up, and it's just the Rangers. So I think if we can just get that Rangers off the board at 3.30, we can break that as well. 
right after this. So yeah, that makes me believe that the orange is going to go for 15 to 20 though. The reds will probably go for like 25, 30. And the super fractal will probably go for like 50. 50 to 60. So kind of like Wander Franco if you think about it. Ah, oh, Zach, I know, man. You're probably not a baseball guy, I know. It's again, this is only one weekend out of the year, Zach. That you'll have to deal with all this baseball. It just happens. It's Bowman. Same thing when Prism Basketball came out, which is all Prism Basketball that we did. Yeah, that's tied into a little pack break, Brian. So I think we're selling some teams. So Hobby 3 and 4 are sold out, but we still have a couple teams tied into that one pack break. Which I believe is um, down to 21 in that pack break. Alright, good luck, guys. Two jumbos right here. Paper of Munoz. And we got a speckle, or sparkle, to two ninety nine. First for the Cardinals, Sejas. But yeah, I think we can definitely get those flawless breaks done, though, because all we needed to fill up is those two filler and Chronicles, I believe. Number 15 sold out, right? No, it's down to 6. So 6 and 19 left. I'm sure we can get that done today. I don't see why not. Double Trout. Davis, Brennan Davis for the Cubs, going to red. This guy's a good prospect too, right? Nick Allen. Oh, nice, Red. Yeah, I remember we talked about it, that you were looking for some Davis. And, uh, I'm glad I got one, at least with me. <laughs> uh, we should be doing them, Michael. I mean, I know I have. I think we were always doing them, unless they were in a separate video.
you said, ah. Terrain. Oh, what a tease. Cannon Smith to 75 for the Yankees. There you go, Charles. It'll be in the non sport, so whatever's on there. He said maybe to check page three or four, I had to click. Okay. Had to click, like, view more or something. Paulini. Josh Jung. What do you say? Yeah, well, I mean, he should do that first. Maybe. Yeah, it's under non. It says it's under other and miscellaneous, but it's probably behind all the Pokemon, so you can't really see it on the first page. But if he searches soccer, it'll pop up. Well, soccer could be in the section where hockey is because there's really nothing. It's a jo uh, Josiah Gray. Five out of 50 Bowman Scouts top 100 autographs for the Dodgers. Uh, Dodgers going to chat right. What if it was like, I don't know, what can I say on air here with that acronym? Help me out, Sean. Alright. Second half. That could be very obvious. Yeah, that, that that could work, Red. That could work. But again, I don't know. I don't know if it's the right thing to put. I want to slap him when he does it. But it just doesn't look right. This makes me think that it's just someone just trying to start something. Encarnacion, and we don't got time for that, you know.
Frankie says, can't buy into Briggs, just bought a Topps Gold Steph Curry rookie raw. Well, there you go. Hey, that's an investment for you, right? That's all good. Chris Paddock. No, the 24 hours ended earlier today, like at 6, 37 in the morning. We took a five-hour break, and I got here at 11. <laughs> so, yeah, we're probably doing 11 to like midnight, maybe. I think Nick might just do a couple hours, but not much. Maybe his normal Nick at night. And then I'll back tomorrow at 2 o'clock. And again, if needed to be, I can stay till 12 tomorrow. So. I think everybody was dead this morning. Alright guys, last two jumbo boxes. Good luck, guys. Well, we got that stud Padres picture, a couple autos here for the Padres, and then we got a Bobby Witt blue. Hopefully, looking for more. Maybe Dominguez. So good luck. And again, guys, there's uh, other breaks that are really close that we can get done today. Uh, Jumbo, number eight, is just one spot away. If someone wants to take the Rangers, don't, no filler needed, no pack break. That can break right away. No, I know it is, but I, I don't know what Nick pulled last night or this or this morning from the first half, so I don't know if there was a Dominguez. Did the Dominguez come from this? Maybe it did, actually. Maybe that's where Matthew got it. You know what? That makes sense. Maybe Matthew got to Dominguez from the first half. I pulled a, I pulled a wit auto. Yeah, no, but from number three, I'm thinking oh, that I that's where, where I, I think that's where uh, Matthew Gomes got the Dominguez. So I don't think he bought the Yankees. Yes, okay, that's where it was. So we did pull a Dominguez, but that doesn't mean that can't pull another one because it's two separate cases, right? Half of the case was hobby, half of the case was jumbo. So I have no idea. What you really, yeah, you know what? That's what I've been noticing, right? There is a pattern all the time. And I thought I would see him around Encarnacion, but now you put Davis face run. You smart man, Red. You smart. Good eye, good eye. It's like it's like Thibel and Zion. Good eye. So it's very likely in the other half of this jumbo. Well, this is the only other half, so. If he if the Dominguez wasn't pulled in the first half jumbo, then it could be here. Oh, you mean this half? That's right. That's right. You're right. You're right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I know there was one pull. I don't know if it came from the hobby though. It might have came from the hobby. Who knows? Because I feel like once you hit a Dominguez, it's such a hot case. Let's say if that Dominguez did come from the hobby, that means the Bobby Wick came in the hobby as well. I thought I seen someone hit three Dominguez autographs in one case. One blue and like two base I thought I seen online. So I just feel like when there's a Dominguez, it's just a hot case.
Anyway, let's see what we can get. Maybe some more uh, Davis for you, Red. I want some clam chowder. Ooh, yeah. I need that clam chowder from Disneyland. Ooh, Ooh, so good. Bowl. Yeah, and a sourdough bread bowl. And I'm I'm that I'm that fat boy that loves to eat the bread. <laughs> like I just go through the bread. I just go through the bread. Like I don't even use it as a bowl only. I eat the bowl. Not eat the bowl. That's why it's there. Why would they serve it to you in a bowl? In a bread bowl. Oh so wow, really red. So you didn't want me to use it. The only case I've seen with Dominguez base and known pronouncement was hobby, so the only fourth ish base auto. Every other one I've logged has both. Ooh. Well let's see if that let's see uh I know it's so good, Frankie, but I feel like people judge you. You know, like I feel like when you're eating it and you're ripping up the bowl once you're done with the chowder in it, especially at Disneyland, they're just like, What are you doing? That's just supposed to be a bowl. I'm like, what? There's, there's, there's just bread bowl. I'm chains like, I didn't, I didn't pay bread, bread bowl chain. I didn't pay fifteen dollars for this yeah. just to just eat the chowder. Throw away the bread? Yeah. Uh, no, Greg. It's actually part of a filler break, a pack break. So five and six are locked, or six and seven, sorry, are locked away in a pack break. So once th that pack break fills in, it unlocks both jumbo, jumbo and uh, six seven. The only one we can fill right away is number eight. That one doesn't have anything locked into it. And we have one left. I think just the Texas Rangers are the last team to be taken there. Then we can break that. Break that straight up. Quinn Cotton. I heard this guy's a good prospect as well. Reds. Fred Williams with that one. There you go. Got that in a little pack filler break. Dominguez. Adam Hall Atomic for the Orioles. Chad with that one. Cruz paper. And a Stevan Floreal gold chrome to fifty for the Yankees. Yeah, someone kept on mentioning that that Quinn Cotton sold for sixteen thousand, but I don't I don't know why that would sell for that. I feel like no one really actually bought that, right? But I feel like it kind of pushed up his market a little bit, and I don't think it's a real sell either. So the Quinn Cotton is a good prospect. He was saying it yesterday, and based on his first pitching over thousand that auction, yeah, it was immediately relisted. Oh, gotcha. See, that's the one thing. Like some people don't really look at the whole the whole like they don't really do the investigating for it. Because there's some times that it does sell, but then all of a sudden it's relisted, right? Or, yeah. you know, or you say immediately got resisted. Oh, I'm trying to say relisted, right? It's Mrs. Cotton. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mama Cotton. Mama Cotton. <laughs> it's like, let's just bid you, I'll bid you up, son. 
That's kind of the bad thing about when it comes to bidding, especially on eBay. I mean, you're gonna tell me Queen Con's gonna sell for sixteen thousand like that, and not even like barely Dominguez sold for that? It's pretty crazy. So someone said that the gold Dominguez was accepted at ten grand. I was the gold shimmer. Okay, then that that doesn't help then. People, well, I, I don't know why people hate well, the gold well, shimmer. Though, so. People hate the gold shimmer. So that means the original like 50 out of gold. You know, the right, the, the plain color gold. Yeah, that's a different color. Uh, that's, that's, that's where the, um, that's where the, yeah. I'm sure that'll go for more than, than 10,000 then. But I, mean, I don't know, me and Nick projected that orange that we hit in a personal box to be like 15 to 20. So, I mean, if. Maybe more. If the gold know, goes for like the original gold goes for like fifteen, then you can probably see the red, the orange going for like twenty, maybe twenty five. But hey, if our cousin bring can get forty thousand for it, man, that's great. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm not sure if Quinn Con's gonna sell for what that online sale is, but I'm sure for a hundred bucks, I'm sure you'll make some money back off of that. And then again, yeah, the customer wanted in a filler brick, so even better. All right, guys, last jumbo box. Good luck. Yeah, so I'm saying though, from the shimmers, it's probably always like way better, right? That's what I would think. Feliciano. I mean, I love the shimmers. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like people when they're creating rainbows and want like they just want the original solid colors. You know, they love the solid purple like this, the blue, the gold, the orange. When you start getting into shimmers and stuff, I feel like people don't like that, which is weird. I'll take a shimmer though. It's just another pattern, Frankie. It's kind of just like how in prison basketball, people love the people love the plain colors of, of that. I mean, the discos don't sell for as much as other products or other silvers and stuff like that. So they just like that. That's all it is. Ain't nothing wrong with it, though. You're still going to get some good money for it. But it's like, it's kind of like NTRPAs, right? How is it that people only want the out of 99s, but... You don't want to. You don't want to add a ten where they only made ten of those. You know, you don't want to add a twenty-five. <clears throat> it's like people just consider them being the true, true RPAs. You know, so people just like the true colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like you can get an RPA out of twenty-five for the same price out of ninety-nine. It's like what? <laughs> Yeah, exactly, just a preference. I feel like the Atomics, though, are such one of the coolest ones out of 100. I don't know how the Atomics sell in the secondary market, but I feel like Atomic is one that I would actually like to get, because I love the Atomic Cracked Ice feel. It's like my favorite. School wall. Yeah, no, I feel you, Red. I know what you mean. Oh, look, at the end of the day, they create more colors because guess what? It means more money. Amaya, right? You add more colors, shimmers, X amount, this amount, and it's just, it's all just a, 
to make it a bigger profit on the player. Alright guys, we should have one more autograph fighting in here. This is the first Dominguez Chrome I've seen in the whole mixer. I feel like they've all been paper. Maybe Nick pulled a lot of the Chrome in the first half. Oh, it really? I know. I heard someone talking about the the like the analytics and the, the stats on all this. That there was more cards produced in 2020 Bowman than any other year and. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just like, well, I mean, either way, people at the end of the day in a couple of years are still going to want a paper-based PSA 10. <laughs> you know, no matter if they created 200,000 more. And we got Estevez to 4.99 first. guys well there you go no Dominguez autograph in here but a lot of Dominguez paper and a couple of the refractor inserts and one uh, chrome which not too shabby still That's a good question. I feel like it'll be in their pro uniform because we don't know what team they were going to be on as of when they released the XRC. So I think it should be I think it should be their pro uniform. But I wouldn't doubt it if they just put the college uniform on them but then put like the logo of the team they're on kind of like how early products are. All right guys, so here you go. Here's all the paper stuff. Chrome number cards, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's Dominguez, so I'm going to show that next after. Gold, Floreal. A lot of Bobby Wood and Pausan. There's another Dominguez there. i can share that after. So all these would be top loaded as well. Okay, more Dominguez than I thought, actually. A couple of them squeak by. All right, this is all Dominguez stuff. So we got the insert, chrome, paper, one chrome, insert, paper, insert, one, two, three, four, five, six paper and one chrome. Not a bad pick if the paper is going for like 20 bucks. And then here you go, here are the autographs. Estevez. Maya, Luciano, Bale, Paul, Cotton, Encarnacion, uh, Jose Greta 50, Paulini, Smith, Davis, Sejas, Genard, Sam Huff, that's just a blue shimmer, Pelson Atomic, Pena, Cantillo, Cantillo Gold Shimmer, Luciano Speckle or Sparkle, and a Bobby Wood Jr. 27 out of 150 blue. So there you go, guys. That was the Bowman Baseball four box mix or four box jumbo six box hobby mixer Pikachu number four on JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Appreciate it, guys. More breaks coming up soon.